Can we taste with our eyes? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. We're about to put our eyes and perhaps our gag reflexes to the test as we try to identify good and bad foods from far away. And today's episode is sponsored by Keeps, a subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness online. Now, as two guys who unabashedly celebrate head hair and the self-expression opportunities that a nice head of hair offers, we wanna show some love to guys with a propensity for hair loss. Yes, we do. And did you know that two out of three guys experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? Mm -hmm. And the best way to prevent that hair loss, do something about it while you still got hair left. So with Keeps, a licensed doctor reviews your information online and recommends the right hair loss treatment plan for you so that you can get treated from the comfort of your own home. Then your recommended treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. Now, I like anything that comes to my door uh, every three months, unless it's my neighbor who comes over asking me to watch his parrot while he's traveling. The dude travels way too much to have a parrot. I've never seen a parrot at Yet your house. He keeps asking. Keeps! You said Keeps. I did. That's the sponsor. Keeps offers generic versions of the FDA approved medications for hair loss, which makes it more affordable. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash GMM or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash GMM. Thanks again to Keeps for sponsoring that portion of today's episode. Now. Y'all know sometimes we like to do a little creeping and lurking in the GMM Reddit threads, and recently we saw this interesting little nugget shared by Mythical Beast Danger Noodle 35. Who knew there were 34 other Danger Noodles? GMM episode idea. Rhett and Link must identify a good food item from a bad food item from 20 feet away. Danger Noodle 35, we like the way you think. Or at least we do right now. We may not be your biggest fans by the time this is over. Yeah, it's time for, what is that there? Yeah, over yonder. An old banana perhaps, or is it a turd, I wonder? Welcome to the ozone layer. It's like the ozone layer. Ah, but for eyes. But for eyes. And welcome to the widest shot in Good Mythical Morning history. We've done it. We can quit now. You know that the reason that we call it 2020 vision is because a normal human should be able to see things pretty clearly from up to 20 feet away. I didn't know that until I didn't today. Either. Oh. And speaking of 20 feet away, in just a second, two similar looking dishes are going to be placed at one end of this table, 20 feet away from the other end. And one of them will be regular old normal tasting food, and the other will be something that we probably don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. The person seated right behind the dishes will reveal each item to the other player 20 feet away. And it's that person's goal to try and make out what the actually appetizing dish is, and therefore which one isn't appetizing. Once he's made his choice, he'll crank that food all the way down the thing, the the, same thing. the monorail thing, uh, and see if he chose correctly. Then both players have to eat whatever they're stuck with. Each round will have a potential advantage or disadvantage on the line for the picker, and which one they receive will depend on whether or not they can correctly answer a vision-related trivia question. Okay. We're gonna take turns at either side of the table, and by the end, at least one of us will never wanna hear from Danger Noodle 35 ever again. Let's separate. What's your name? What? What is your name? Link! Link, I have a trivia question for you. Cool. In medical terminology, OS is the abbreviation for the left eye. What does OS stand for? A, Oculus Sinister. Oh. B, Oculus Soros. Okay. C, Oculus Solaris. Soros or Solaris or Sinister? Yes, sir. I'm gonna, well, Solaris sounds like the sun. May, and. Maybe the right eye is the moon? Lun Lunaris? I'm not gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with, what was the other one? A is Oculus Sinister. No. B, Oculus Soros. Oculus Soros is my answer. The correct answer is A, Oculus Sinister. Seriously? Apparently, left is sinister in yeah. Latin. Mm. That means you get a disadvantage. It's gonna be wearing these 3D glasses for the rest of this particular round. Now, I'm gonna wear them over my glasses. That's fine. That would be a double disadvantage. Yeah, prescription. 
Okay, I'm gonna reveal these one at a time. Again, you've gotta keep those glasses on. They're on. One is good, one is bad. One is bad, one is good, one is good, one is bad, one is... Okay. Uh, is that eggs? I can't, I really can't tell from here. That's the first dish on the red plate. And the second dish on the blue plate. That's gonna be tough to see, Neil. Yeah, everything is purple. If I close my sinister eye, everything turns blue. And what if happens I close with the my red lunar eye, everything's red. But when you're like, you got red and blue looking at red and blue, what happens? Uh, it dances. <laughs> I mean, your shirt's kind of dancing. I don't know what the, it's, it's a flat meat looking thing on, the, on the, my right. I'm gonna choose the eggs or what, what I think are eggs. Okay, you're choosing the red plate. Yes, the red plate. I get the blue plate special. Is it time to crank? Crank it! All right, now watch closely because I've been told that this thing moves really quickly. Here we go. Or not. Here we go. Well, crank it a little faster. Getting a little closer. It still looks like eggs. Is it eggs? It still looks like eggs. I can't tell what it is, but I don't think it's eggs. <laughs> what is that? That is lychee. Oh, that's lychee. Lychee, yeah, like you get at the this yogurt is a place. Fruit. So, with your palate, I never know if something is good or bad, but that's supposed to be good. Okay. All right, let's taste it. I and have. Find out. Is this good or bad? What do you have? <laughs> I, I looks like I might have an anus, but it's actually just a sea cucumber cross-section of a sea cucumber. This is bad. Good. Bad. Go. Mmm. Good lord. Not better than an egg. That is as oceany as ocean can get with the consistency of biting the top of someone's ear. Oh. This is what Mike Tyson felt like. Good old ocean ear taste. Uh. Play on! Can you see me? Uh, is that Charles? Yes, I have a question for you. At the back of the eye is a layer of tissue full of special cells called cones and rods, which are responsible for your ability to see color. What is that tissue called? Is it A, the cornea, B, the retina, or C, the sclera? Okay, well, I know that the... The back of the eye is the is the retina. It's the it's the retinal nerve that comes in there, right? I thought that the retina was like the nerve or whatever. I don't think the, so. The sclera is the. I don't know, I'm not going to answer your question. The sclera is the white part of the eye, I think, and the cornea, I think, is the the something on the the lens of the eye, right? I'm going to go with. Uh, Stop asking me. I'm thinking out loud. I'm, can I not be a verbal processor every once in a while? J not huh? in question form, because I keep thinking I'm supposed to answer. Uh, yeah, I am baiting you. Uh, I'm going to say that it's the retina. Because your name is Rhett? Yeah. Huh. Uh -huh. All right, Rhett, that is correct. So you just won an advantage, which Ooh. is I will take a little taste of the item of your choosing. <laughs> oh, and then you know what? This will tell me a lot, bro. All right, let me reveal, starting with this. Cloche. That looks like a pudding from here. And then this cloche. That looks like a pudding from here. <laughs> One is a very, this is, I mean, come on. I don't even have 20-20 vision. You want me to be differentiating between puddings? Uh, again, with the questions, the answer is yes. I would like you to taste the one that is more off yellow. So the one in the red plate. Okay, I've got a spoon. You want me to use my finger or you want me to use a spoon? Well, I won't use the spoon since I think I might have to eat it after you. Okay. Is there now, stuff on now, top of it? I'm just getting a little taste. Swish it around. Really taste it. I tasted it. Did you learn anything? You have a really bad poker face, but that was one of the better ones you've ever done, if that was really bad. Now taste the other one. Nope, my advantage. Almost got you. It's, it, it's over, now you've got to choose, man. I'm going to, I think th there's a little something in there that you didn't like, and you really held it together, so I'm going to pick the blue one. All right. So take the red one to yourself. Now, I, whoa, 
I'll take that and I give it a cranky. Well, this is fun. This is for light fishing. Yeah, it is. You caught yourself a plate, buddy. Is there a spoon on this plate? Nope. I, I forgot to send you the spoon. Right. Spoon me. Nice! Okay. The spoon boys, back at it again with the tosses. I don't know what to think about your little reaction there. You get a closer look at the pudding, what do you see? Pudding? It, well, it doesn't look like pudding. It looks like it might be like cream cheese. All right, let's dig in, shall we? Hmm, it smells strange. Don't be shy. It's organic toothpaste. toothpaste. Uh-huh, I could smell it as soon as it came up here. Mm. Mm. And you I, know what this is? Pudding. I don't rinse my mouth after I brush my teeth because I read a, a dentist. I read a dentist. Okay. He said to leave it in there, so this is nothing for me. I'm going to keep it in the rest of the game. <laughs> okay. I have another question for you. Do you? Which of these animals can still see color in near total darkness? Okay. My mouth is very minty fresh right now. A. Owls. Owls. B. Cats. Cats. Or C. Frogs. Owls, cats, and frogs. I can see how they would all want to see at night. Everybody wants to see at night. Maybe frogs. Name an animal that doesn't want to see at night. Cats are hunters. Owls have got great eyesight. Mm. They only see at night. They're blind in the day, I think. Day blind, that's right. Shoot, I'm almost about to say cats, but I think it's owls. Owls, owls is your answer? Owls. Believe it or not, it's frogs. Frogs? <laughs> frogs can see colors in near total darkness. Dang it. That means... I uh, got another disadvantage. That your disadvantage is you must pick while wearing upside down glasses. Oh, give me a break. Those things suck, man. Now, again, I'm trying to do it over my glasses, <laughs> which requires me doing this. You're definitely upside down, I'm going to tell you. Okay, tell me. Crap, I'm gonna have to take you, my glasses off. So this is a double disadvantage, man. Well, listen, I don't have 20-20 vision. I've been looking, I've been looking down here, not seeing anything. Where? I can't figure out how, there you are. Okay. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Here's the first dish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. And here's the second dish. <laughs> I don't know how much it would have helped. <laughs> The more, the more anyway. I try to get a, a better look at it, the more I tilt my head the wrong direction and I lose it entirely. That trying helps. to cover up my bad eye. Uh huh. Is it biscuits? I really can't tell. Okay, well, we need a choice. And they look exactly the same. I'm gonna go with the dark plate. You're taking the blue plate, I take the red plate. Yes. Crank it! Is it coming to me? Uh huh. Here we go. I can only imagine what that looks like for you right now. It looks like it's upside down. And very blurry. Come on. Is it a cupcake? A cornbread? Can you tell what it is? A cinnamon bun. It's a cinnamon bun. I have a cinnamon roll, <laughs> I think. Uh, here's the thing though, Link. Mine is actually not a cinnamon roll. It's just organic soap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, well I win. Three in a row. Nice. Mm. Man, I'm getting so clean today. Yeah, I wanted you to get that toothpaste washed out of your mouth. Man, I haven't even been cursing today, because you can't on YouTube. <laughs> then it would make sense to wash my mouth out with soap. That's what the joke is. According to the internet, ha, which of these foods is not one of the top 10 most photographed foods on Instagram. According to what? The internet. The internet. According to data compiled on the internet, the internet. at a site that I am not, it, that is not pertinent. Okay. Is it A, salad, B, ramen, or C, avocado? Wow, one of these is not in the top 10. That's right. Avocado, avocado is so specific, but yet the type of person who Instagrams their food loves avocado. Ramen is a culture in and of itself. Salad is kind of like, I'm being healthy right now, look at my salad. 
You're giving reasons why all of these should be in the top 10. I think they're all in the top 10. I'm pulling an audible. Ah, man. I'm going against my instinct, and I'm saying it's avocado. It's not in the top 10. You're wrong, mm. Rhett. Mm. Ramen is not ramen. in the top 10. Yeah, that's a, this is, that's a tough one. So you have earned a disadvantage. Okay. You have to wear my glasses. Oh, you know what? Hey, I haven't been wearing my glasses in the last round. Yeah, so. I can't see anyway. And also, I'm thinking about getting glasses. So this is just a little trial run. Now I can't see. So what's, what is your experience like? Well, I mean, first of I all, you look I think I look, I look smarter. I kind of look like the beast when he puts on glasses in X Men. Okay. <laughs> keep them both open. That's part of the disadvantage. What? Yeah. Yeah, you have to keep both eyes what open. What kind of rules is this? That's the disadvantage. And the close <laughs> reveals. Oh, that was a nice sound. And the second close reveals. Okay, all right. <laughs> no so, do you sound. want me to tell you? You want me to be honest with you? Yeah. It looks like there's a couple of craps on plates over there. It looks like you did a duty on both plates. That's as much as I can tell you right now. And which, and the, the blue duty is a little bit bigger than the red duty. Good. I have to close my one. No, eye. you can't close an eye. I'm serious. Don't close an eye. The disadvantage is that you wear my glasses. But ding, 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 ding. Yeah, what my, I am what wearing your glasses. What my glasses, glasses do to your vision? Stop it. Well, it's a little bit different when I close one eye, but I, I will say. I know how different it is because they're my glasses. Oh, it's not much different. It the just, disadvantage. It looked like maybe bear doo doo when I close one Stop eye. Stop closing your eye. I can see every time you do it. Stop it. I'm winking at you, man. Stop winking. It's all a joke. <laughs> Living a joke. The blue one's bigger. I'm hungry. I've had nothing but toothpaste, soap, and sea urchin so far, or a sea cucumber. So I'll take the blue, and you take the red one. You sure? I can't see, man. You sure? Yeah, I want the big one, the big bear poop. You sure? You want this one? The big bear poop. You do want this one. Which one mean you don't want this one? All right, give it a crank. Here it comes. I'll tell you what I think as I see it. Oh, it's got something white on it. It looks like ribs? Brownies. It took you that far to realize yeah, yeah, yeah. that you have brownies, my friend. Yeah, you know yeah. what I've got? What, bear poop? Blood. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, I only lost one round, but it was the round that mattered. Oh, no, man. Oh, yes. You mind if I use your... You can use it all you want, brother. Oh, my God. Hold on. There's a, there's a depth thing, Look too. Look at this stuff, man. I mean, this is not... Man. This is not how... Oh, I... it's like congealed. Let me Hold on. Let me see if I could have told that. Put it back on the plate. If I, if I could have told it without my... This is not how I want a good mythical summer to end. No, that's not... I couldn't have told, man. This is how it's ending. Just a reminder. Take it next week off, and then we'll be back on September 13th. Hmm, hey, that's a good little promo. Oh, God. Five days a week. Five days a week. You know, season, season 20. 20. Here's to that. Oh! <laughs> oh! Man, that must be bad. Iron! Iron! These brownies are really good. Uh huh. Man, I've already, I've already eaten a whole one. I got half the bike down. Uh, uh, I hate you. You want your glasses back? Uh, no, I don't want to see this any better than I already have. My eyes are sweating. I'm not crying. Thanks for I taking one hot. for the team, Link. Uh, and thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. See again. you in season 20. Yeah, week after next. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Catherine, and this is Friday. And we are from Alexandria, Virginia. Today we are trying peanut butter and tomato sandwiches, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We we are trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Friday. <laughs> Click the top link to find out if color therapy sunglasses <laughs> really work in Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Need Mythical merch in a hurry? Try Amazon.com slash Mythical for grooming, logo wear, and reissued designs delivered with prime shipping.